Congratulations on choosing the FlexSnap system from FlexTherm. As the leader of floor heating systems, we are committed to offering you reliable, state-of-the-art products. This video shows you just how easily the FlexSnap system makes it to install FlexTherm's green cable surface quickly and efficiently using the FlexGlide tool. In just a few installations, you will have mastered this system. You will get the maximum benefits from the system when installing on a plywood subfloor using polymer modified dry set mortar and a ceramic tile floor covering. In such installations, the FlexSnap system replaces the second plywood that's usually necessary. Check out our website at www.flextherm.com for all the details about the compatibility of dry set mortars, various types of subfloors and floor coverings. Before you begin the installation, carefully read the system installation guide and make sure that you install our product according to your local construction standards. The FlexSnap mesh can be installed in just a few steps. First, you will need to calculate the surface area that will be covered to know the quantity of material required. The entire floor has to be covered by the mesh, including areas underneath fixed furniture that will not be heated. To calculate the total surface area, multiply the length of the room by its width. If the room has sharp edges or angles, make sure that you subtract the appropriate amount of space from the total area. Now, prepare the floor surface. It is essential that you work on a smooth, even and clean surface. Protruding objects such as nail or screw heads, for example, can damage the mesh or the heating cable and may even reduce the adhesive capacity of the dry set mortar. First, sweep the floor to remove any large debris. Next, make sure all nail and screw heads are fully even with the surface. Vacuum the floor. And finally, carefully clean the floor surface with a wet sponge. Residual dust could harm the adhesive capacity of the dry set mortar. First use a marker to outline the location of all fixed furniture in order to mark the areas where the heating cable will not be installed. Next, we must trace the line that will be used to guide the installation of the first row of mesh. Using a chalk line, draw straight lines. Then plot a line that is parallel to the longest wall of the room. Draw it 31 centimeters or 12 and a quarter inches from the wall. You do not have to draw other lines. The mesh will guide you through the rest of the installation of the floor covering. Now it's time to install the mesh. First, look at the pieces. Notice the three squares with diamonds in them. They will help you position all the meshes so that they are facing in the same direction. Two sides of the mesh have spigot ends and the other sides have socket ends. Install the first flex snap mesh by placing the two sides with the spigot ends against the walls in the corner of the room. Lay the first row of mesh along the wall following the line that you drew earlier. Next, lay the second row on the other side of the plotted line. Join the pieces together by inserting the spigot ends into the socket ends of the adjacent piece. Apply enough pressure so that the pieces fit into each other completely. If necessary, you can easily cut the pieces using scissors or a utility knife. Once the second row is in place, screw the meshes close to each corner along the line, making sure that they are perfectly lined up with it. Continue to install the mesh until the entire room is covered even the areas under fixed furniture that will not be heated. Finally, screw in all the meshes in the holes close to the corners. Be careful not to screw them in too deeply or the pieces might become compacted, which could warp or cause them to no longer be lined up properly. Now that we have covered the entire surface with the flex snap mesh, we can install the heating cable Please refer to the green cable surface installation instructions. Follow all instructions so that the cable is installed successfully and its limited warranty remains valid. First, insert the cold lead and the mechanical joint in the opening at the end of the broom handle. 
Then, through the metal ring at the end of the handle of the Flex Glide installation tool, close the metal ring on the tool against the heating cable. Raise the flap on the front of the Flex Glide and insert the cold lead into it, then the mechanical joint. Place the heating cable on the wheel and lower the flap back into place. Screw the broom handle into the handle of the Flex Glide tool. Using a utility knife, cut the appropriate part of the mesh and fasten the mechanical joint to the subfloor with some hot glue or by screwing it into the tabs. Next, fasten the first few centimeters of the heating cable to the mesh by hand. Line up the Flex Glide with the starting direction. While pushing the tool in front of you, insert the cable into the mesh slots. These slots are spaced 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch apart. For 5 centimeter or 2 inch spacing, insert the cable in every other slot. For 7.6 centimeter or 3 inches, insert the cable in every third slot. After completing a run of cable, turn 90 degrees with the tool and move forward 2 or 3 inches depending on the spacing you have chosen. Turn another 90 degrees and continue in the opposite direction. To make it even easier, we recommend that you insert the cable in the mesh by hand in tight areas. Keep in mind that a run of cable cannot be longer than 3 meters or 10 feet. If your room is larger than that, simply divide it into sections. Please be sure to keep even spacing, even when you are going around fixed furniture or other obstacles. In addition, all changes of direction must be made at 90 degree angles. Be sure that you maintain the minimum spacing between the cable and fixed furniture, walls, drains and heating appliances at ground level. Using this method, cover the entire surface to be heated. Careful! The heating cable cannot be installed under fixed furniture. Please refer to the green cable surface installation instructions for more details. Now it's time to install the thermostat probe. Place it 30 to 60 centimeters or 1 to 2 feet inside the heated area in a neutral spot away from any direct source of heat or cold. Center the probe on the mesh between two heating wires. Make sure that it does not cross the heating cable. Thanks to the Flex Snap system, glazing and installing the tiles can be done in one simple step. Before you do anything else, make sure that your dry set mortar is compatible with heated floor systems and the Flex Snap system. Check our website for the list of compatible products. Let's start. Use the straight side of a notched trowel inclined at a 45 degree angle to glaze an area for a few tiles. Move diagonally to the mesh so that it does not get caught in the slots. Apply enough pressure to ensure optimum adhesion to the plywood and fill in the squares on the mesh evenly. Do this using a back and forth motion. Next, use the notched side of the trowel to cover the surface with dry set mortar. Use the appropriate trowel to ensure a proper transfer to the tiles. Lay the tiles on the covered surface. Repeat these steps in an alternating fashion and finish covering the floor. Never hit the trowel on the floor to remove excess mortar. You may seriously damage the cables. For the same reason, use a sponge or wet rag rather than a knife or the edge of your trowel to remove excess mortar between the tiles. We also recommend that you make sure that no one else walks in the room until the floor is finished. You must respect the full curing period recommended by the dry set mortar manufacturer, which is generally 24 hours before walking on the floor or applying the grout mixture. In order to maintain the validity of the manufacturer's warranty for the dry set mortar, make sure that you observe the curing time required for the product you use before activating the system. You are now ready to enjoy the soft, enveloping warmth provided by the FlexTherm system.